Good morning, scholars, and welcome to a new day. All right, so this week I'm gonna try to be working my way through all of your amazing questions that you guys have been leaving me. You guys have a lot of really great questions. I'm gonna try to do my best to answer them. So my first question this week comes from Callan and Emma, and they're both asking about tools. Emma asks what tools are in our toolbox, and Callan is asking how do fidgets make you calm? A fidget is like a tool in our imaginary toolbox that we carry around. So Emma, what tools are in our toolbox? Well, all the tools that we use to help us to calm down, like fidgets or taking deep breaths or closing our eyes and imagining somewhere or doing some of those muscle relaxation techniques, all of those are tools that we can use when we need them. And so today I want to talk a little bit about that tool of fidgets. I know fidgets are so popular and everybody has so many different kinds of fidgets out there. So I wanted to get your opinion on what fidgets do you like to use and how do they help? Help you. Let's go see what some of our friends have to say. How do fidgets help you to be calm? They help me relax by the sound and they help amuse me. It makes me relax. It makes me calm down when I'm sad or um, not in a good mood. How do fidgets help you? Um, when I'm bored, I like to play with them, or when I'm really stressed out. When I get stressed out, or when I'm sad, and to just play with them for fun. Wow, thank you so much for those of you that shared. That was some really great information. And remember, a fidget is just a tool that we can use. Again, it's something that takes our mind off of something that might be worrying us or stressing us out and makes us mad. And it just gives us something to focus on. And a lot of times, I know a lot of kids would say it's satisfying. Sometimes the noises or the feel of it or playing with it is satisfying. And those things can help to calm us down. So think about what fidgets that you like to use and try to use one next time you are in the yellow or red zone. We'll see you tomorrow.